Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am Mackenzie Nelson. If you're new here, and welcome to Sri Lanka. I've been here actually for like two and a half weeks, but haven't been filming. It's just been like a very chill time here in Sri Lanka. I haven't really been doing much, so I didn't feel like I needed to vlog for you guys, but I kind of wish I did. So this is why I'm picking it up today and vlogging because I have some fun plans for the day. Currently I'm in the very south coast. It is my last week here. So I think I'm gonna stay in this town called Willigama. Really chill, really laid back. Lots of people come here for surfing. I did not come here specifically for surfing, but I came here for the beach and good weather, but it has kind of been raining a little bit. All in all, there's beaches, so we're gonna go explore beaches today. But I definitely wanna show you this hostel because it's pretty cool. Right on the beach, it has a rooftop bar and cafe, and then just below the yoga studio, and then these amazing hostels that I actually have the room all to myself. I'll just show you right now. But these amazing giant beds, they're like full-size beds with mosquito net, plugs and lamps, everything you need. There's lovely AC, giant lots of room, and then even a little balcony. I'll take you up to the rooftop later for breakfast and show you the amazing view of the beach from the rooftop, which is really cool. But yeah, come enjoy the day with me. I am happy to be vlogging again in Sri Lanka. I just got some postcards from the hostel I'm staying at. They have like a cafe upstairs. So I'm going to write some postcards and actually send them home because they have a post box you can send them home. This is my first time actually sending a postcard home and they already come with stamps. for the day for 2,000 rupees each for the entire day. I might rent it for a few days, but just one day for now. Literally across the street from hang time. Like, super convenient, super easy. Biggest tip, always, always, always take photos of every inch of the bike that you rent, just in case they try to scam you for any kind of damage afterwards that was already there. So for your insurance, just take photos, videos, everything you need of the bike. We're gonna head to Marissa today and see some beaches. Our first stop is Turtle Beach. We're gonna go see some turtles. I think that it's like guaranteed we're gonna see some turtles, but I wish I had a snorkel. actually see any turtles well I don't know if my GoPro did but I didn't but I think I'll come back another day maybe in the morning and bring a snorkel the guy there was saying that 9 or 10 a.m. is the best time to bring a snorkel and see lots but now we're just walking up to coconut tree hill <laughs> this is turtle beach here and the coconut tree hill is just there let's go That looks like chicken though. Yeah, that's I think this one's chicken. Very nice, very nice. It was their opening day. <laughs> Come to Simple. It was really, really, really good vegetarian kwatu. Probably the best I've had in Sri Lanka. And only a thousand rupees or 900 rupees. Oh, is that the juice bar? Oh, yeah, but it's cool. We just come to Secret Beach in Marissa, our last stop of the day. We were trying to go to Parrot Rock, but the tide was really high, so we decided it would probably be best to come back tomorrow morning and try again. I got a little 
burnt today. Yeah, but the water feels so great. Where we were swimming earlier, just glorious. Ooh, I'm getting eaten by bugs. I've met so many puppy friends today. I think a lot of people are scared to pet stray dogs, but just know which dogs to pet. But if they have fleas, they're not gonna hurt you. If they have ticks, try to pick them off. Just be really careful. I don't even have a rabies shot or anything. The dogs are okay. Just, again, know which dogs to pet. Don't pet any that look like are gonna bite you for any reason, but these guys look really friendly, so just give them love. Okay, so. As we were leaving Secret Beach, it just started to downpour. We kind of came back in a hurry. We asked if we could keep the scooters for tomorrow, and they said yes. I just came to take a shower. We planned to go back out and meet up at a cheap curry buffet for dinner, but it's still like pouring, so I think I'm just gonna go up to the cafe upstairs. I do have some leftovers, so maybe I'll try to heat those up and just have a really chill night since it's raining. Tomorrow, we'll have the scooters so we're gonna take them back out go the opposite way of Welagama. Hello everybody it's actually the next day. Today we kept the bike the Irish couple is coming to meet me now at the hostel and then we're gonna ride the opposite direction see what we could get up that way so we're going towards Gaul today or Gaia or Gale I don't know how to pronounce it so I really don't know what we'll see but yeah see you on the road. We just filled up on gas. Well, not filled up because it's only like a dollar to fill it up, like more than halfway. Super, super cheap. Come out to see the local fishermen on the stilts, like the traditional way. But I've heard that those are rumors and that they don't actually fish like that anymore. But I see them fishing right now, like that. So I'm gonna go check it out and hope I don't get scammed of any money. I wish I got that on camera. I literally am walking over there and he's like, you want a photo? I was like, I wanna learn about it. Are they fishing right now? He's like, small money. What? To learn about some fishermen. I, don't need, I didn't even carry my money on me, so I'm just gonna leave and hope that I can find them again. But I could see them. I'll insert a photo of what it looks like, but I kinda just wanna watch them catch fish. So I've just pulled over because I have seen the stilts. There's nobody on them. Okay, I'm, I was gonna show you this photo of like locals doing it, but there's like clearly tourists sitting there. So maybe they just do it for money. That's upsetting. I did hear that they don't really fish like this anymore, that that's why they have the boats. Do you not fish like this anymore? Uh, in the morning, but uh, today it's not. No. So you don't do this anymore? Or how often? Huh? Every morning? Every morning and after. Yeah. He was nice. He said that he was a fisherman. He told me a little bit about it. He, I think he did ask if I wanted a photo at first and I said I just want to look at him. But I think you could take a photo on it and I don't want to do that, period. Well, I didn't see any fishermen on him, but I did see him and I didn't get scammed of any money. So, hey ho, we're good to go. I'm just gonna look for a roti shop that my friend suggested. My maps don't work because I don't have any data. So basically, you could find all of these fishermen all along the coast of Hangama Beach. Right, so I'm gonna try to find this Mr. Sunnel's roti and juice shop. Let's do it. Right on the beach, this is lovely. Thank you so much. See, so we got a vegetable roti, some dal, coconut sambal, egg, some noodles, I'm not too sure what that is, watermelon juice, and a traditional Sri Lankan juice. I'm not sure what it is, and he doesn't know the name in English, but it's very good. 
edit some fruit. Well, hello everybody. I was just working on editing some vlogs back at the hostel. I was kind of waiting around for like sunset time to then go drive the motorcycle somewhere into a nice beach, swim with some turtles, and then it just started pouring rain for like an hour. So I didn't get to go to the beach that I wanted to, which is literally just that way like 30 minutes because I think the sun is about to set. I might have some time but I don't want to wait around too long. Mainly just wanted to see the turtles. So I came to Kongala Beach which is like not far from a sea turtle hatchery like just that way. I didn't want to like go to the hatchery so I decided just to come to this nice beach here to try to see some turtles. The waves are pretty rough but I don't think I'll be able to see them so I might just ride the bike back towards my town Weligama and swim off the pier. lovely meal at my way buffet it was only 500 rupees to eat there and it was so delicious really spicy so beware when you go and it just started pouring down rain so we kind of waited there until it wasn't raining anymore it's just barely sprinkling so I'm trying to make it back before it starts pouring again. Anyways, I had a really, 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 really lovely week in Waliyama. Definitely rent a scooter when you get here. It was so, so worth it. Only $6 a day. Total freedom of what you do with your day, where you go. See amazing things, see amazing beaches. But yeah, go explore. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll be traveling back to Colombo and then the gumbo on the coastal train to then take my flight to Nepal, which will be the next country. I'll see you guys in the next one.